Hey guys, it's Pandora Will here again. Um, and today I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to make a cloth object in Blender. So I'm going to leave the default scene as it is, and I'm going to start by adding a plane. I'll just slide it up the Z axis, and then scale it up so it's a little larger than the cube. Now this is going to serve as my cloth, and I'm going to have the cloth fall down onto the cube. Um, so I'll want to go into edit mode for the cloth and then press W on my keyboard and subdivide. Now I'm going to do this a few times um, each time making the subdivisions even smaller. Uh, the smaller the subdivisions are the more lifelike your material will behave. Um, however the more subdivisions there are the longer it'll take to render. So with everything subdivided I'll go back into object mode and then I'll go over to the physics tab along your toolbar over here. I will select cloth and you can see I have silk as my preset. You can just uh, hit the arrow keys and select whatever you want. Uh, silk is just my preference. Um, and then under cloth collisions it'll be d checked by default and then if you go under those settings and then hit self collision that will um, also make your material behave more naturally and more realistically. Um, so our cloth settings are all good. Um, right away we might just want to hit smooth shading um, and I'll show you why um, after I start playing this. Um, so now if you select your cube and go under the physics tab and then so select collision um, we're telling Blender that this object um, and the cloth will interact with each other. So now I have everything set up for the cloth. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning of my my clip or whatever and hit play. You see the cloth falls down and it lands on the cube. Um, and you can see it's behaving just like a blanket would or something like that. Um, we shaded it with smooth but you can see if I had flat shading and make our object not look smooth at all and you can see that the little squares in each square is the the subdivision um, the size of the subdivision so if I had a lot of small subdivisions and then shaded it flat it would look pretty good but then I could shade it smooth and it would look really realistic um, and so that's the basics for making cloth in blender um, however, in whatever scenes you're you're making with Blender, most of the time you're not going to have a piece of cloth like that just fall down onto a cube. Um, it could be perhaps a curtain on a window, or maybe even a shower curtain, or or even a flag. You might want to make a flag in Blender, and so you'd want your cloth to behave a little differently. Um, so I'll select my my plane, my cloth and then go into edit mode. I'll press A on my keyboard to unselect everything. And then with my my vertex select mode um, selected, I'm just going to left click on these two vertices. Now if I hit control G, um, control G if you didn't hear me, um, I'll assign to new group. So now I just made a vertex group um, and you'll see what I'm going to do with that. So now I'm just going to leave edit mode and then I'll go back to my physics setting for my cloth and then you'll see right here this box you can select it for pinning. Now if you go under this tab you can select group and that's the group we just created. Um, so now if you hit play you'll see that our cloth is kind of pinned to our little set and it looks like it could uh, be a curtain in front of a window, it could be anything. Now if I take my cube you can see that it still interacts with the cloth. Um, but yeah, so you could attach that cloth to to be like a, a shower curtain, you could attach it to an animated char character to be like a cape. Um, you could basically do anything. Um, and so that's the basic tutorial on making cloth in Blender. I hope you've learned something from this video. 
Um, if you'd like to see more videos and more tutorials, please subscribe. Um, if there's something that you really want to see, just send me a comment or a message, um, and I can make up a tutorial for that. Thanks again for watching. This has been a tutorial on how to make cloth and blender.